Hey guys, my name is Whitney Johnson and I work with the Lexington Public Library. And I'm here today to tell you guys about the best place ever. In 2016, my husband and I took our honeymoon to Peru, a beautiful country in South America. It was the trip of a lifetime. some things that we've never seen before and we'll probably never get to see again. The people were amazing, the food was delicious and interesting, and the animals were so cool. Okay. So I wanted to learn a little bit more about America's favorite fluffy Peruvian. But wait, is it a llama or an alpaca? Let's find out. Hey, hey, you over there, are you a llama? Or an alpaca, what are you? Excuse me, madam, but where did you learn your manners? I am an alpaca, thank you very much. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. So why do people get so confused? What's the difference? Llamas and alpacas are both in the camel family, yet we don't have humps like camels do. Llamas are much, much larger than alpacas, sometimes twice the size. Llamas are mostly used for packing and carrying heavy loads or for guarding herds of sheep or alpacas. You know, working class of the family. Not alpacas. We are raised for our soft and luxurious fleece. Oh, interesting. So your fleece is used to make clothes? Our fleece is often compared to cashmere. It's so soft and smooth. You can buy alpaca yarn, clothes, hats, scarves, blankets, and so much more. I grew eight pounds of fleece in one year. Okay, okay, wait. So you're in the camel family. Does that mean you're a spitter? That is a family trait for those of us in the camel family. We do it when we get annoyed, or if someone is trying to bother our food, or if another alpaca is trying to start a fight. I'm actually feeling a little annoyed now, so you might want to watch out. Thank you so much, Mr. Alpaca. Thank you for teaching me a little bit more about alpacas and the difference between you and your cousin, the llama. And thank you guys all for watching and hearing more about my amazing trip to Peru. I would love to hear more about your amazing trip. Please comment below and share pictures or even just a story of your best place ever. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your summer. Bye!